With the release of Loach's banner in version 1.1, we also saw the release of several new companion quests. And uh, after playing through Yang Jing's companion quest, we have some insights into a new character. We don't know when she's going to be coming out. We honestly don't know too much about her, but I do want to talk in this video about everything we know about Jing Liu. Now, we've only, you know, officially, because I'm only talking about what's officially known about her, I'm not going to go into anything that's like, you know, speculations or leaks, because like, do, leaks will probably exist for her, but on the channel, I just don't want to cover leaks. That's pretty, uh, it's not, it's not, not something I want to do on the channel. I don't want to have that on YouTube. Uh, for me personally, but in terms of official info about Jing Liu, there is a little bit that we know. We know about her backstory, and then we know a little bit about her as a character, but not too much from the quest. So, we've seen her in two places so far. We've seen her in the animated short that was released um, early on in Honkai Star Rail, uh, about the backstory of Jing Yuan and Jing Liu. And then we also saw her now in Yang Jing's companion quest. So we know that she was Jing Yuan's previous master, who basically she trained him in the art of the sword, and she ended up uh, becoming struck with Mara, which is the whole thing that they're trying to deal with in um, the current story arc. And Jing Yuan ends up uh, ends up taking her life as an act of mercy because the Mara makes made her basically go insane. But now she mysteriously showed up in Yang Jing's companion quest. And you pretty much go through the quest with, uh, you, you don't really, she doesn't really get too much gameplay in the quest and you can't even control her either. So there's not really too much information we were able to get about her. But we do get a couple things and that, that'll kind of help players to see like, oh, could she possibly be a character that you know, I might summon for? Because I think that's very, it's very important to be able to like plan ahead. And you know, outside of us knowing, you know, the characters coming in 1.2 right now, we we don't officially know who's coming out beyond that. So we'll have to wait for Hoyaverse to officially put out information for who might be coming in 1.3. But in terms of Jing Liu, unfortunately, while she was, you know. In the Yangjin Companion quest, we weren't actually able to see any of her, like, what her skills do and stuff like that. She didn't even use her skill in battle. She only used her basic attack. So it didn't really give us too much info. But from the in-game battle screen, the two things we could see were, firstly, that she's an ice element. Which, I mean, for my account personally, that, that'll be a pretty big plus because... My, I don't really have an ice unit build. My only ice characters right now are March 7th and Herda, I believe. And I'm not building a Herda right now. And March 7th, yeah, I'll probably build her eventually. But uh, Jing Liu will probably end up being more offensive, which will be cool. And then we also see that while we can't see her info, we do see that she is on the path of destruction. So that's also going to be very interesting. So she'll be more of like an all-rounder and have some good survivability as well. So I am very interested to see what she's going to be able to do as a destruction character. Since right now for destruction, all those characters outside of Arlen and the physical MC, the destruction characters are like fairly solid. Uh, especially Clara. Like Cl Cl I think Clara is definitely like very unique. And I think that with the path of destruction, they are able to make the characters unique because of the fact that they're like relatively well uh, all-rounders and they're just able to take that and like push them in a direction like how Arlen's is uh, about him like losing HP I believe uh, physical MC is super basic just because that's the you know first character you get but then you have Clara who's all about follow-up attack so I think you know attaching mechanics like that could be very good we also do see in the fight that um, where characters tend to have like charges for things, she has four uh, like four charge meters, so that could be some kind of uh, like special ability that she might get. But you know we'll have to see when she does come out. But that is pretty much everything we had know about Jing Liu right now. 
it's very basic for uh, info. We'll definitely find out more as it gets closer to what she'll end up releasing. Maybe it'll be 1.3, maybe it'll be 1.4. Once again, you know, I'm not going to really be going into leaks like that on the channel. I want to keep it strictly to what is official and just, you know, keep it going from there. But, you know, if her kit ends up being really good, just based on me liking her aesthetic and also being a ice destruction unit, uh, also being good for my account, I could definitely see myself pulling for her if she does have a good kit. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you all think of Jing Liu. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell. But with that, I will see you all next time.